forest with a man or a bear? Bear. How many people are struck by lightning every year in the United States? According to National Weather Service, lightning kills about 20 people each year in the United States and hundreds more are injured. How many bear attacks are there in the United States every year? According to Bear Vault, since 1784 there have 66 fatal human bear conflicts by wild black bears. Less than a dozen non-fatal conflicts happen each year, and the vast majority of encounters end with zero bodily contact. How many women are assaulted in the United States every year? According to Rain, on average, there are 463,634 victims, age 12 or older, of rape and sexual assault each year in the United States. How many women are assaulted by a partner every year in the United States? According to National Organization for Women, according to the National Center for Injury Prevention and Control, women experience about 4.8 million intimate partner-related physical assaults and rapes every year. Less than 20% of battered women sought medical treatment following an injury. Okay, men, if you still claim that you don't get this argument, you are the problem. And I don't even think that you're human. And those are only the cases that are reported. Exactly. Th th that's the reality of, of the situation. Mm -hmm. This right here, perfect representation of a man or a bear. Women had enough. This is the best response by a male that I've seen so far. Thank you. Literally the least I could do, no worries. <clears throat> um, the bear lives in the woods. The, ma the male followed me there. I picked the bear. Yeah, literally. Oh my God, exactly. Exactly. Or the male is there for some weird, strange reason. Who knows for what? So yeah, I picked the bear, right? <laughs> the good men get it. Thank you. <laughs> We do exist. Sadly, we look the same as the problem. You do look the same as the problem. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's true. It's really true. You do really do. Because th there's too many. There's too many. Imagine a group or a species where 90, at least 98% of you are horrible, horrendous species to be around. Right? And for so long, you haven't kept, you, you haven't kept them in check. So here, here they are. And here we are. So yeah, y'all, y'all just mixed in there. You're mixed in there for sure. Um, I knew this, but hearing the actual numbers took my breath away. We're so tired. Yeah, it's crazy. And that's just reported. And only two questions. I could have Googled all day and still only scratched the surface. Thank you as a survivor. Thank you. So it, it's so scary to me because what has happened here is males are predators, right? Males hunt and they're predators and they've created a society where it, it's so easy for them to hunt and who's being hunted women and women don't even know that, that they're being hunted. Right. And so it makes it easy pickings for them right they just kind of go and they'll hurt women after women after women and then women end up taking that on as their fault or blaming each other or fighting each other so they've created such a system that makes it easy pickings for them to prey and hunt it's insane right oh to be predators and to hunt totally insane <laughs> you, sir, are a green flag. <laughs> I'm a man and even I would choose a bear. <laughs> right. Males are scared of even each other because of how depraved they are. Males have even an even greater insight as to their inner workings than women do. So even they would not choose each other. So imagine creating a society where... 
women are made to choose males and not only that live with them in the same space underneath the same roof why do you think we needed to put in um police and these types of policing structures in place it's not because of women it's not because the majority of women were acting were acting up it's because of males it's because of males terrible terrible species we're still wondering why we choose the bear over the man in the woods. Listen to this voicemail that a guy left my mom after talking to her on the phone once. Randy, I'm only calling you now hoping that you'll get this message, which I imagine you will because even though I'm not very familiar <laughs> with the block section in the voicemail section, I imagine you and most women are because you ladies block men nowadays like you're changing underwear like you're pouring a cup of water i already know this i, I even uh, it, i know why you block me you block me just because that's what you fucking do but you ladies in general even if a guy doesn't do anything wrong or doesn't do anything to hurt you if you ladies block men for no fucking reason at all I, I know women that have told me they block every man that's in their home once they start dating a new man even if the other guy didn't do anything wrong. So that's how classy you ladies are. Wink, wink, sarcasm. But, um, so I imagine your block list, block list is like as long as a football field. So with that said, I imagine you'll probably hear the text message. Randy, I just wanted to tell you, if you are still in Michigan, I would stay there if I were you. I think you really need to, because I think you've been living in Florida too many years, because you're fucking psycho, batshit crazy, so like the rest of the fucking Florida people, and more importantly, the rest of the Florida women. You are horrendous. And of course, if you ever hear this, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, because I know how stupid people like you think is that's all you ladies do nowadays. That's all women. Women are amazing. But asshole, jaded, hypocritical, single women like you is, is that all you do is you focus on a guy's reaction instead of anything you did. It is fucking amazing. I reached out to you again. I was nice to you again. I showed interest in your son and your life again in what you were doing. I tried Sorry. Um, I tried once again to just say, listen, I'm single. You're clearly single, obviously you are. I know you are. This, what I'm trying to say is you really should look within because you're single because of yourself. Right? I don't know how old you are. I imagine you're in your 40s like me. And I'm not like the, one of these people that says, well, somebody's single. They're, they obviously have to be single because of them. That's not obvious. Nowadays, that doesn't mean anything. But you are single because of you. You really need to look within. You are amazing because it's not like you say, well, gee, you know, after this amount of time, I've, you know, decided to be like this with you because of our interactions. No, you were like this from the very beginning. Literally impossible. Literally impossible. You were not consistent. You, you, you were interested, but yet you don't show interest. You play games. You don't. You aren't any consistent. You're impossible to get on the phone. You want to do everything by text. You misunderstand shit. You're obviously not trusting. And you act hypocritical. You act like a typical white, angry, hypocritical, jaded American woman that won't deliver what she expects to get back. That's all there is to it. You're a typical Karen. Why don't you change your name to Karen? You should change your name to Karen, and then after that, stay in the Midwest and try to stay there for a few years and get some of that Midwest goodness back because you sure lost it in Florida. Really. Are you another woman that drinks every night? Another typical lush... A uh, Florida girl that just drinks every night and doesn't know her ass from her head because you sure come up with some stupid shit, you say. And more importantly, you really come up with a lot of toxic gaslighting just focusing on the reactions of actions that you cause. <laughs> So this is my second time I'm watching this because I had to re-record it because the first time I watched it, her facial reactions, like I couldn't even really pay attention to what he was saying because I was so like I was dead, like I was just laughing the whole time and my voice the, the my voice from laughing was drowning out like what he was saying <laughs> okay so the black bear the black bear grizzly bear sun bear winner the pooh bear any bear <laughs> right exactly 
<laughs> Ma'am, under what reason do we need this restraining order? <laughs> Play your voicemail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He had a whole meltdown by himself on voice. Can you imagine? Just because she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Like, what's the problem? So she stopped talking to you because she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, so, I mean, move on. Like, what? Like, you just call someone and leave that on their phone? Oh, my gosh, y'all. Oh, oh, my goodness. Um, I mean, a bear would never leave a voicemail like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a freaking psycho. <laughs> I live in South Africa, and I would rather take my chances with a freaking lion. Heck, yeah, girl. I know that's right. <laughs> the males over there are super crazy <laughs> i'm from there i know um i fell asleep and woke up and he was still talking <laughs> it's the longest voicemail in the history of voicemails it was so long <laughs> it was it's like super long she totally just said no thank you and he took it like super personally i know it's like okay she doesn't want to talk to you anymore like what the heck like what's your problem <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> right? Imagine. <laughs> oh gosh. He treated the voicemail like a journal. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I've scrolled the comments for like five minutes and he's still ranting on. Oh, yeah, like we're doing other stuff while he's talking. He, the voicemail was so long. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy's nuts. <laughs> uh, but y'all acting like men are scarier than bears. Alright, so I, I just looked up and uh I got a bear coming down the road. Look at him! Look at the big boy! Look at you! Hi buddy! Hi! What do? If I'm ever that excited to see a guy, I'll let you know. She had to happen. <laughs> that was so fire. Y'all, that was so fire, right? I just posted my comment like a second ago. Um, but someone said, being a woman in the military, men are effing horrible. You can't even trust your own NCOs and battle buddies. Oh, ah! I can't even imagine, y'all. What? <laughs> I trust bears to act like bears. Favorite quote I've ever read in this tra in this trade. Exactly. <laughs> and he didn't bang on the door and the man to let you in. Oh my God, y'all. For real. Did the bear stop to see what you were wearing? Nah. Ah, we didn't see that. <laughs> just mind his own business and the way he was like the way the little guy like the way he like climbed that wire like what this is like oh my gosh so freaking cute like just climbed the wire like as long as you leave them alone they're good it's like don't be coming in there like space and harassing them like we know a lot of bears are introverted you know what i mean so we like definitely a bear a hundred percent you know, even if you think about it from a logical perspective, if you get stuck in the woods with a bear, you're in the woods. So you're in their space. You know what I mean? So you're in their space, right? Like, oh my gosh, like, ugh, duh. So wait, the bear 
didn't follow you home, demand your phone number. I don't get it. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, look at that. My heart didn't drop into my stomach for your safety. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wouldn't have been this excited to watch a video of a strange male approaching you. Oh my God, I'd be freaked the heck out. Right? <laughs> I was very happy to watch this bear. I know, I was looking at the bear and when he climbed the, the I didn't know they could do that. I didn't know they could do that either. I didn't know they could climb like that. And he was like the little bear, like was being like so careful too. Like you see how he was like putting one paw before the, I was like, oh my God, I've never seen that in my life. What? <laughs> If, if it was a male coming that close, we'd pick up our phone and call a friend or lock the door. It, like, true story. True story. I once was stalked for years by an ex. Another time, I had a bear enter my yard, told him no, and he said, that's fair, and left. <laughs> right? <laughs> No problem. No problem. I didn't even know this was your yard. You know, nowadays you can't tell where it stops, where it continues as far as, you know, free land or the woods. Yeah. I just think the women need to get scary enough so men pick a bear too. Well, I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> I will never forget how y'all kept telling the girlies to, to choose better and they chose the bear and you niggas got mad. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.